Like on page 60, you'll see we really enjoyed the quotes that you included in the beginning of the chapter with Albert Camus and Seneca. And like the atmosphere it just creates has like a lot of hope in a desolate place. And when you focus on like war, cannibalism. Thank you, Scepter. It's basically, uh, I call it my feet. To look for something that fits might be pandering a little bit. Yeah. Um, but in front of these two, ch this chapter with this certain quotes, because there's something powerful about um, Nick's rising chapter. Um, because um, Zaidi goes from being a slave to basically being born, uh, and, and he he rises uh, to, and he opposite um, a physiological journey uh, that most people did in World War II. He got stronger and fitter and more mentally acute. Kind of like a hero um, archetype. We have I have some pictures of him right after World War II. He is a solid handsome wiry built human he he was he was forged uh, under thor's hammer i mean he was just uh, pulverized into fitness and and it's it's uh, it's an amazing <laughs> thing that happened because this, it's another piece of the story that that's that's startling i mean most people come home despondent and weak and broken and 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 bereft of, of sinew and flesh but but he came back just uh a man, just just totally, totally, you know, remade, reborn. It's a, uh, it's it's a, a kind of another just extraordinary piece uh, of the tale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's actually really cool, inspiring reflection. Yeah. And um yeah. For um page 94. Uh, Meaningful, so just the reflection yeah, of his yeah, life and this was after of course the, all the events that have unfolded. Chapter because... So I thought that that and his customs it added more personal connection to uh Zadie uh, as a person. Yeah, that, that's not my, just as like the topic uh, of this novel. Uh, most personally and directly. Because after the war, he was every other part of the story is what he told me about his life, and the memory chapter at the end is everything that I knew about him. First, he became my my dear grandfather, and you know we were, had uh, all the holidays at his house, and all Passovers were at his house, and I went to him for breakfast after uh, after Shacharit every day during the summer, and uh, I hung out with him during the summer on many occasions, and and we were close. Uh, and there were a lot of just fantastic, fantastic memories. Um, it, the, that chapter almost didn't make the final cut to make it into the book. It was a bit of a discussion uh, with the publisher about about uh, its meaningfulness, and I was like, I didn't, yeah, this got to go in. Yeah, this is this is everything. This is this is the consummation of his life. This is this is now. So everything about him as 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 a person uh, from the eyes of the writer of the author of the grandchild it's, it's gotta go in